Okay, today we're out here at Peccary Channel Jetty and uh, it's a rare day because it's actually clear water and there's absolutely no waves and that's not common. Normally it's like turbid, there's waves, uh, it takes a long time of no waves to be able to start getting clear water and stuff out there. But because it's so clear, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today is green sea turtles. Uh, you might have been along the jetty before and you probably see some turtles coming um, up and down and you might have thought, what are those? Green sea turtles by far, 99.9% .9 of the turtles you're going to find along the jetties, whether it's uh, here in Corpus Christi or in Port Aransas, that's what you're going to see. They're out there feeding on algae that's growing on the rocks because they're vegetarians for the most part. Now, they do feed on sponges and jellyfish whenever they're juveniles, but as they get to be adults, they switch to being totally 100% uh, vegetarian. Um, the ones that you're seeing out here, they're probably uh, two years old, you know, one to two years old. They're pretty young. As they get older, they start going into deeper water and they can get huge as adults. Uh, five feet in length and like 300 pounds. So, you know, definitely these are the young ones. Um, one of the cool things too is that whenever the females, wherever they're born, they come back to nest there to the same beach. And, and that could literally be uh, decades later they come back to the same beach to lay their eggs. That's pretty amazing. The green sea turtles get their name not because um, they're green, uh, you know, their shells are green or anything, but uh, since they're vegetarians, um, they do have a greenish look to um, their skin that gets underneath their skin. And so that's kind of where they get their name, the green sea turtle. Now these that are hanging out here, um, you know, they're young. Um, you know, they might be here for a while uh, feeding on the algae. They actually go into the bay. Uh, so whenever we have like cold stung stunning events, uh, when the water temperature gets to a certain degree, degrees their metabolism just kind of shuts off and they're floating there until they wash up or something. So there's a lot of volunteers that come up to try to rescue them before they land, get on land, they drown, predators get them, they get hit by a boat, you know, all kinds of things can happen to them. So um, they're also found in the bay. Now, um, whenever they get to be adults, they are travel, they can travel hundreds, even thousands of miles to feeding grounds or to where they're gonna nest. So uh, these are, um, they're migrants uh, coming through. Another interesting thing about the sea turtles is that the temperature of the sand is what regulates what sex the animal is gonna be. Uh, whenever it's born. And so uh, as the eggs are in the nest, uh, if it's a warmer temperature, uh, and there's specifics on, on what the temperatures need to be, uh, the warmer the temperature, the more females. The cooler, the more males. Uh, green sea turtles are listed as threatened. So whenever you, you know, find a, a bone or a scoop or, you know, a skull or something like that of one that's washed up and it's, um, you know, turned into bones, you can't keep that stuff. You know, um, you might see uh, education facilities might have that, but they have special permission to be able to use those bones to be able to educate the public about, you know, what they're finding, the importance of sea turtles and all that. But for the normal uh, everyday person, you're not supposed to keep any of that. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, they try to keep the, the turtles from being sold like on the black market and so that includes live and dead and body parts okay there's a sea turtle that's actually sleeping down here let's go check it out One of the bad things that I've seen is, uh, I guess a couple things. One is, um, you know, plastics in the ocean is not good for sea turtles. It's actually not good for any uh, sea life at all. But for sea turtles in particular, they don't know the difference between what's natural and not natural. So they'll be out there taking bites of plastic and it can get lodged in their guts and end up causing death or, or other issues. And so that's not good. 
Uh, the other thing is, um, you know, we like to fish around jetties. Well, whenever you're fishing around jetties, your fishing line might get stuck. And, um, you know, so people cut their line and that line's just waving around in there while the sea turtles are swimming around it. And they get caught in that pretty often. So what we ask is if people do get caught up on the rocks, get as far down as you can safely and you have to cut it as far down as you can so that you have less line waving around in the water. And then there are uh, people that go out uh, for cleanups whenever the water gets clear like this and they're able to snorkel and go cut off fishing hooks, uh, fishing line, get the cast nets that are stuck on rocks, you know, get some of those hazards out of the, uh, out of the water. So I just wanted to kind of give you all uh, an update on uh, when the water's clear like this, how many sea turtles you can see, and talk specifics about the green sea turtles. So hopefully you learned something new this time, and we'll catch you on the next beach coming. Talk to you all later. Bye.